Right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Hello there, what is up, Leak? It is your boy, it is, it's JP, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Yes, the game which is uh, turning into Grief Essential, that's all I'm saying. But yes, welcome back. My PS4 has allowed me to record two videos tonight uh, an Evolution one, go check that video out, and obviously this one. Because you're seeing it now. But yes, today's video is obviously another horse video, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It's it's JP. Um, it's mainly horse videos and dinosaur videos on this channel these days. But yes, the video is going to be of the new series, Love It or Hate It series. This is where I choose a breed of horse in the game. And I, I go through why I hate the horse, why I love the horse, and then overall thoughts and opinions on it. So, I asked you guys at home, I put a post on the channel asking for your guys' opinion on which horse should be next in this video for the next of the series, and you guys overwhelmingly commented that the Norfolk Roadster should be the next horse we do in this series. So that is exactly what we're going to do, but before I get into that, I just need to say there is going to be a post put up either the day of this video's recording or the day after for the next horse. It's either going to be Carrillo or Gypsy Cobb. So please put in the comments of this video either Carrillo or Gypsy Cobb, which one you want to see. And obviously on the post as well, which one you want to see as well. But anywho, we cannot do a love or hate it video on the Norfolk Roadster without a Norfolk Roadster. So we're going to go head to the stables. And I think we all know, if you've been on the channel for a while, I think we all know who I'm going to bring out for this. Uh, we are going to bring out Lenny, my uh, number one baby in the world. Um, we're going to bring him out, and we're going to go through the exact same way we did with Casper here, who is, uh, orig I think, is on level 3 bonding now, which is something I've been working on with my broken PS4, which is terrible at the minute. Uh, yeah, level 3 bonding. Hey, good boy, Casper. Anywho, Lenny, there he is. Now, before we get him out, we're going to have a quickly look at him in the stables and say that he is... A Moonshiner Roll Horse, aka you cannot get this horse unlockable by just going to the stables and purchasing. You have to unlock a roll. And for this breed specifically, well, this type of Lenny, or type of Norfolk Roadster, sorry, um, you're gonna have to grind up to level 20 of that Moonshiner Roll. There is obviously a level 1 version and a level 10 version of the Norfolk Roadster, but obviously the level 20 is the best version. And this is the one we're going to be reviewing. So we're going to equip Lenny and we're going to head out of the stables. So think about it. What should we do first? Should we do love it or hate it? Uh, I think we should go with hate it. Why do I or why I hate the Norfolk Roadster? Now, for those of you who know, I'm a Norfolk Roadster simp. So therefore, for me, there isn't really much wrong with the Norfolk Roadster, if I'm perfectly honest. But um, there is obviously some flaws here and there. So we have a look at him right here. Norfolk Roadster at level 4 bonding. Remember that as well. You are looking at 7 health and 9 stamina. Now, that's where the, one of my issues is with the Norfolk Roadster. I love the horse to bits and we'll get on to that. But for a multi-class horse to only have 7 health... I feel it's not as high as I would like it to be in a horse which is classed as multi-class. At 8 is my minimum, I would say, for multi-class. So for a horse to have 7 health and have better stats in other ways, I feel like that health should have been at least buffed up to 8 at minimum. Just because when I do sometimes use Lenny against Griefers, which I don't, I don't really ride Lenny uh, in public sessions anymore, but... When you're out there, you're playing against NPCs, they shoot your horse. So for some reason, the Norfolk Roadster goes down quicker than, obviously, you know, a Brenton or a Gypsy Cobb because they have 10. Uh, so the health does let this guy down. Another thing that I would say that lets this guy down a little bit is the fact that you have to grind to get the horse. I mean, it's a good horse. It is the best horse in the game, so therefore I see why they've done it. But it's just a grindy horse to get, especially this version as well. But uh, for me, personally... That's the only two things I can really come up that I could say I really hate the Norfolk Roadster for. It's just the fact that you have to grind for it, so it takes a while for you to get it. And obviously the health could be a lot better than what it actually is. But then again, I don't know. Please leave in the comments, is there anything that you notice that you hate about the Norfolk Roadster that I've missed? Please let me know, because I really can't really come up with over those two points why I hate the Norfolk Roadster. Now, 
Why do I love the Norfolk Roadster? Well, 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 there's so many reasons. Well, number one, it is, for me, the bravest horse that I own. Mr. Lenny here, we can go up against alligators, wolves, bears. No problem. We will go up with them. We'll fight them. We'll fight them with our bear hooves and fists if we need to. But pumas and cougars, on the other hand, uh, they, they don't. They just book Lenny. Lenny's not a big fan of them, are you, Lenny? Hey, cougars? You a fan of cougars? No, he's not a fan of cougars. Uh, no horses are, in fact, but uh, Lenny is definitely not a fan of cougars. Uh, gunfights. This horse is brave again. I've done it with the tests where I've shoot pistols near it. It is the slowest horse to, to react to gunfire. Uh, so that's good when you're going against, you know, griefers, bounties, uh, ambushes. This horse isn't going to start getting skittish like your Arabians and, you know, book you off, which is a really good point. Uh, again, I need to make out this is my personal favorite horse, so it is going to be biased. Some people wait, may say that I'm saying a lot of good things about it, but it is my favorite horse in the game. It is, to me personally, the best horse in the game, so there's nothing really much I can do about that. I'm just sorry. I'm just a big Norfolk Roadster simp. But then another really big reason why I love the Norfolk Roadster, it is a multi-class horse with speed of 10 and acceleration of 9. Obviously, standard handling. Personally, I have mentioned in the Arabian video, I don't really see a difference between ha standard and ha elite handling and stuff like that. But uh, for that to be a multi-class horse and have the stats of a race horse is absolutely amazing. I've uh, literally uh, gone from literally the stables we've just come from all the way to Valentine with probably less than five minutes. And if I went with a Tuckerman, probably takes me a little bit longer. The Carrillo could push the Norfolk Roadster, give it a run for its money, but this is the quickest multi-class horse in the game, I would say, and it's goddamn worth it. You can see when he runs, it's amazing. Now, some people will complain, which could be another point why people may hate the Norfolk Roadster, uh, when it runs, that its legs look a bit weird. I, I've never noticed that thing. I know people have complained about it before, but I've never really noticed it. Another reason why I love the Norfolk Roaster, it's a big horse. Now, this is a personal opinion for me. I do tend to lean towards bigger horses. They're just, it just, they lure me in more. And obviously the colors, patternings of the horse as well for me is another really, really big factor for me. Uh, especially Lenny. Lenny is my baby. I love him to bits and I couldn't really do nothing without him. So essentially this horse is uh, more than just a horse. He's my uh, partner in crime. He's my, uh, Secret lover, because my girlfriend has found out about Lenny and she, she don't mind him, but, uh, you know, it might get a bit toxic here and there, but, uh, that's not the point. But, uh, the horse itself, the Norfolk Roaster, is probably the best horse in the game. Lenny, obviously, he's, he's agreeing with me, of course he will. Um, uh, best horse in the game, I remember, have that Nacho hooded stirrups and Nacho saddle and you gold, and, and this horse literally is the only horse you really need in the game. Now, other people are going to say, you know, Missouri's and Tuckerman's can give it a run for its money, which I agree, it can do, but that you cannot beat a Norfolk Roaster. The stats, and unfortunately, the health does let it down, but the stats with that acceleration, that speed, the stam, it's just really, really good. Bravery, it's, uh, it's just an all-round really, really good horse, and I cannot really fault it other than one or two possibly three ways so that is why i overall i love the raw norfolk roaster you could probably even say i adore the norfolk roaster aka i simp the norfolk roaster and that's why it is the best horse in the game but i do hope you have enjoyed please leave in the comments why you love the norfolk roaster why you hate the norfolk roaster or why you think the norfolk roaster is cool like lenny's agreeing lenny you cool no he no he's not cool you're amazing aren't you buddy you're amazing. Uh, but please, have a good day. Stay safe. Subscribe. We're on the road to 2K subscribers by the end of the year. And obviously, leave in the comments down below for Carrillo or Gypsy Cobb. And I will choose for the next video. But be, please, stay safe. Have a good day. And I'll see you later.